Hello, guys. How are you? Hi, good evening. Good evening. Teacher. Hello. Me voy a retirar. Why? Tengo una emergencia. Seriously? Sí. Okay. Okay. Igual voy a ver la clase. Thank okay. you. Okay, okay, hope it is not so. I mean, everything's good. <clears throat> and how are you guys? How was your day today? Más o menos he estado viendo ahí una serie, ¿cómo se dice? Sería, hay, ver, ¿cómo se dice? Ver, en... He estado viendo una serie. I've been watching. In this You're watching a movie? I have been watching some series. Ah, that's okay. Thank you. Ah, pues, eso. Okay, cool. What series are you watching? Mm, the series is King the Land. Es una is series on Korean. Korean. Es una serie coreana. Korean. Drama. Algo así. The rest. How are you guys? Oops, I lost my attendance. I'm fine, teacher, and you? I'm okay. <clears throat> um, a little bit relaxed. I'm trying to. What's going on here? It was a relaxing day today. <clears throat> okay. Uh, this one. And how are you doing with your today's twenty four Tuesday, right? The platform. Some people need to work, as I read. Yo tengo un problema. I have a problem, teacher, What's... in the in their exam final. In the exam final. What happened? Porque uh, Sale en la primera pregunta que uno tiene que escuchar un audio, pero yo no entiendo si tengo que transcribir todo lo que dice en el audio o, o alguna oración, porque yo una oración que alcanzaba a agarrar iba escribiendo de cada foto, pero todas me salieron malas, así que no entiendo cómo hacer ese ejercicio. Sorry. ¿Alguien ha tenido problemas? ¿Ya hizo ese ejercicio? Ese ejercicio que menciona ella, no sé si es uno que me costó hacer a mí, pero era uno de que supuestamente había que poner un número, o sea, uno escuchaba el audio y de acuerdo al audio uno tenía que identificar qué tipo de, de casa era, creo que decía una casa pequeña, una casa grande, y daba como las características de la casa y uno tenía que ir como poniendo el número. Entonces, no sé si ese es el que dice la compañera, porque en el examen, la uno, ajá. Y eran los números y yo, la, y yo oraciones ponía en los espacios. <risa> yo también puse eso, pero este, sí tiene que ir como poniendo el número, digamos, vaya, en el audio dice Juan y menciona eh, la característica de la casa. 
Entonces, de acuerdo a la característica, tenés que escribir en el espacio este, cuál de las cuatro opciones que tenés ahí es la que te describen en el audio. Gracias, compañera. ¿En qué sección es la cinco? No, la cuatro, me imagino. El examen final es el primer oh. ejercicio. Ok. <clears throat> Ajá, it says, listen to four people. Describe their homes. Number the pictures from one to four. Type the numbers in letters do not need a capital letter or a period escucha cuatro personas describir sus casas y enumere las eh, fotografías del 1 al 4 digite los números en letras no es necesaria la letra mayúscula that's it Okay, let me see. We are practicing questions, right? Double questions. Mm. Okay, Carlos. Okay, Jesus. Okay. Some people having problems for la lluvia. Aún llueve. Okay, so let's continue. Well, there you have um, the questions that we were practicing, right? WH questions. And I, I sent you some information today in the morning. And we're going to do this, this short exercise. It says, complete the conversations with uh, the correct WH question words. Then practice with a partner. Two short conversations. Um, okay. So, I'm going to read. And you help me, okay? It says, I watch sports on television every weekend. Really? What sports do you watch? No, no. What sports do you like to watch? Soccer. It's my favorite. What's next question? What do you usually watch soccer? Mm, what? Check the answer. The answer says on Sunday afternoons. When? When do you usually watch soccer? When? When do you usually watch soccer? On Sunday afternoons. And and where 
¿Dónde? Where do you usually watch it? At home? No, at my friend's house. He has a really big television. Number two, the first question. Where do you go by the writing? Where? Check the answers. It says, oh, about when? once a month. When sounds good. Mm, but when? About once a month. About once a month. Another option. No podría ser how often. Oh, how. how often? Sounds good. Yes. How often do you go by riding? Oh, about once a month. I love to go by riding. I go every Sunday. Really? Really, when do you go? Oh, oh, oh. give me a second. Ya cerré por error. Give me a second. Questions, questions. <clears throat> it's coming, it's coming. Okay. So how often uh, I love to go by riding. I go every Sunday. Really? When? Can be, can be. Another option? Where, where do you go? At one o'clock. Mm. The answer says at one o'clock. No sería when. Yes, but in this case, what time? What time do you go? Usually at about one o'clock. Oh, yeah. And the last one. It says the answer, check the answer. My sister, come with us next time. Who? Who? Who do you usually go with? My sister, come with us next time. Okay. Let's practice now the conversation. Conversation number one, two volunteers. A and B.
Let's see, Kenya, Gabriela. Okay. You start, uh, Gabriela. Okay. I watch sports on television every weekend. Really? What sport do you like to watch? Soccer is my favorite. When do you usually watch soccer? What soccer? On Sunday afternoons. And where do you usually watch it? At home? No, at my friend's house. He has a really big television. Perfect. Thank you very much. Conversation number two. Two more volunteers. Kimberly. Okay. And Victor. I guess. Kimberly okay. and Victor. You start, Kimberly. How often do you do you go by riding? Oh, about once a month. I love to go by reading. I go every Sunday. Really? What time do you go? Usually at about one o'clock. Oh yeah. Who do you usually go with? My sister. Come on come come with you next time. Thank you very much. Come with us. Come with us. us. Come, with come with us. us. Come with us. Come, come with us. Mm -hmm. come, come with, with us. us. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's see, riding, bike riding, bike riding, bike riding, okay, bike riding, good. Somebody else, let's practice conversations. Number one again, two more volunteers. Maria Stephanie and somebody Kimberly, Kimberly, Nancy. Okay, okay, Nancy. No. Okay, thank you. So, Nancy, please, you start. I, I watch a sport on television every weekend. Really? What sport do you like to watch? Soccer, it's my favorite. When do you usually watch soccer? Um, Sunday afternoon. Yo creo que me, yo creo que me salté, vea. No. <laughs> no, that's okay. Esa fue, okay. ¿A dónde íbamos, compañero? <laughs> Perdón. Uh, when, I guess. Okay, yo digo when, ¿verdad? Yes. Okay. When do, do you usually watch soccer? No, at my friend's house, he has a really big television. Okay. Okay, okay. okay. We can <laughs> lost a little bit. Don't worry. Okay. Um, <laughs> yes. Um, some word, favorite. Favorite. favorite, 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 yes, favorite. I watch sports on television every weekend. Really? What sports do you watch? What sports do you like to watch? Soccer, it's my favorite. When do you usually, that's another one, 
usually usually when do you usually watch soccer on sunday afternoons and where do you usually watch it at home no at my friend's house he has a really big television thank you very much conversation number two two more vol volunteers Rolando Rolando with one 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 volunteer Jesus yes thank you You start, Rolando. Ah, hola. Ya se escucha. No, no se escucha. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. How often do you go bike riding? Oh, about um, a month. I love to go bike riding. I go every 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 Sunday. Really. What time do you go? Usually about one o'clock. O'clock. Oh yeah. Do do you usually go with? My sister, come with you next time. Thank you very much. With us, come with us. Come with us. With us. With us. Okay. Ma, somebody else? I guess there is another conversation here. Let me check. Yes. And more questions. Complete the conversation with questions. Then compare with the partner. What sports do you like? I like a lot of sports, but I really love volleyball. Next question. Check the answer. The answer says, uh, it says, I usually play with my sister and some friends. So the question should be. Teacher, one question. Yeah, tell me. From the previous conversation, what is the use? The use. <laughs> come with use next time. Uh, come with us. Come with us. Yes, um, but, if they, but if they use that. With, the word with is con, right? With. Um, as se le llama object pronouns. Objetos pronombre. Que eh, este pronombre sería nosotros. Come. Ven con nosotros. La próxima vez. Come with us next time. Eh, esos se van a, a estudiar eh, a su cierto, en cierto momento. Los object pronouns. Usted puede decir, um, para decir, ven conmigo. Come with me. Me. Ok. Come with me. Um, ven con, o ve con él. En este caso sería ve, sería go. Go with him. Mm -hmm. Go with him. Um, ve con ella. Go with 
hair. Hair. Uh -huh. Luego, ven con nosotros. Come with us. Ve con ellos. Come. No, no, sería go. Go with them. Go with them. ¿Ok? Y eso se le llama object pronouns. Ok. Thank you. Welcome. No more questions about this? New vocabulary, probably. No. Okay. So, let's continue with these questions. Uh-huh. Question number two. I usually play with my sister and some friends. What is the question? Ideas? So often do you play volleyball? How often? Another option? Porque la respuesta dice, I usually play with my sister and some friends. Podría ser, who do you usually play with? Sounds good. Who do you play with? Or usually, who do you... Who do you... Sorry. Le faltó el you ahí. Who do you play with or who do you usually play with okay that's correct who do you play with i usually play with my sister and some friends mm -hmm. next question The answer says we practice on Saturdays. When when do you practice? Algo así. That's it. When do you play or when do you practice? That's okay. That's correct. When do you play? We practice on Saturdays. Next, the answer says we start at about noon. We start at about noon. How oh, often? Often. Mm. For what time do you play? Sounds good. What time do you play? Or what time do you start? Okay. We start about noon. We start at about noon. And the last one. Where do you usually play? Play. Okay. Where do you play? Se las he dejado cortas. Where do you play? Pero igual sí le pueden agregar el adverbio. Where do you usually play? We usually play in our yard. 
But sometimes we play at the beach. Good. No problem. New words, new expressions. Quizás este, un, quizás una diferencia podría decirse, pero cuando utilizamos what time o how often, porque ambos indican tiempo, pero ¿cuál sería como un punto para poder diferenciar cuál utilizar en cada expresión? Ok, yes, good question. Um, how often es frecuencia. Um, el otro era what time. Una hora específica. Por ejemplo, con el how often siempre iría los que estudiamos. Never, always, sometimes, hardly ever, usually. Uh -huh. Porque esa es la frecuencia. How often. Ok. How often. Luego, el what time, una hora específica. What time do you play? At one, at two at three, uh, at four, specific time. Eh, luego, acá, porque en la anterior me dijeron, no recuerdo quién, when, que puede indicar tiempo. Pero, y, pero puede, el when es más como <clears throat> el, eh, how do we call this? Por ejemplo, when do you play? Puede ser in the morning. Es el periodo. No, periodo. Yes. When do you play? In the morning, in the afternoon, at night. Y así podría funcionar el when. Okay. Luego el what time. Specific. At 8 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 1 o'clock. Mm -hmm. That's it. Good. Okay, thank you. More questions? Rolando? Entonces, básicamente, el when es para periodos un poquito más largos. El how often es mm, no regular, no, o sea, no es como específico, sino como algo que solamente lo hace como frecuente, como un hábito. Ajá, y el, frecuencia. What, ah, ajá, y el what time es ya justo específico. Yes. Mm -hmm. ah, that's okay. Mm -hmm. More questions? If not, we can practice this conversation. Los que no han participado. Two volunteers. <clears throat> Now you can practice someone yes para leer las la, para leer las este oraciones teacher y yeah, it's a conversation yes i need to uno pregunta okay. y otro responde a y b bueno, ok. Puedo practicar yo. Ok, good. And uh, Rolando. Ok, in this case, you start, José. You are A and Rolando B. Ok. Uh, what sport do you like? I like a lot of sports, but I really love yeah. volleyball. Uh, who do you play with? I usually play with my sister and some friends. When do you play? We practice on Saturday. Uh, what time do you start? We start at about noon. Where, uh, where do you play? We usually play in our yard, but sometimes we play at 
the big. No. Ok, very well. Oh, sí, sí. Ok. <laughs> sí, me imaginé lo que pensaste. Eh, ok. Um, sometimes. Sometimes. Y la palabra sería beach. Beach. We play at the beach. Mm -hmm. Good. Perfect. Thank you very much. Somebody else? Alguien más? Somebody else? Esas palabras dan miedo pronunciarlas. Si hay otras. Hay una con la que yo bromeo con, con mis estudiantes que me dicen T-shirt, T-shirt. ¿Qué es T-shirt? Camiseta, creo. Yes, camiseta, uh -huh. sudadera. Uh -huh. Con esa. No me, no me digan camiseta. T-shirt. Ajá. Two more volunteers. No more. Nancy. And. Someone. Vilma. Ya que está Vilma ahí. Nancy and Vilma. Bueno, but... You start, Nancy. But as... <laughs> what is for the lie? You like her. Do you like? I love... I like a lot of sport, but I really love... I don't know how to say it, but... Volleyball. 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 Only one. Who to play with? I usually play to my sister and some friends. When do you when do you play? We practice on Saturdays. What time do you start? We start at about noon. Where do you play? We usually play in our yard, but sometimes we play on the beach. At the beach. Perfect. Thank you very much. No more? No more. Uh, okay, those are questions. And let me see. I have another conversation. Now we're practicing a lot of conversations. Um, Okay, 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 okay. Uh, okay. Um, 
Kyla and Philip. Now I'm going to read it. Listen, pay attention for pronunciation. Oh, look, there's a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can't enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh, no, I can't sing at all. But I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest. Sure, why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. ¿Alguna vez han estado en un talento de concurso de talentos? ¿De cocina? No, no. Uh, de letreo, ortografía. I don't know. At school. No, no. So, uh, first, new vocabulary in the conversation, new expressions, new words, new questions. En un concurso de, de Miss Olympia, Miss Universe, no. Spelling Bee. Ah, Spelling Bee. Ya ven, alguien debía de aparecer. Spelling Bee. Y ganó. No. Ah, what happened? Ya vamos a hacer uno acá de Spelling Bee. Ok. Um, no, este es uno, pero era de comer churro. Okay. Y ganó. Y ganó. No. No. Pero me llevé como seis churros gratis. Ah, entonces salió ganando. Yo creo que, ¿quién, sí. fue, ¿quién fue? No recuerdo, Carlos, Víctor, Orlando. Rolando, que había estado en uno de comer pupusas, o, o, o era broma. Yo no dije ese comentario de la pupusa. Ah, ok. <risa> no, no sé quién fue. Sí, el no maratón de pupusas. Ajá, ajá, no recuerdo quién se fue al maratón de pupusas. Ok, so, ok, let's practice. Kyle and Philip, more volunteers. Yo, teacher. Teacher. Camiseta. Ay. Yo, camiseta. Yo, okay. camiseta. Ok. Uh, en Kenia, I guess. Vilma en Kenia. You started, Vilma. Oh, look. There's a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can enter a talent contest. When? What can I do? What can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh, no. I can't. Sing at all, but I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest. Sure, why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. Perfect, very good, thank you. Somebody else? Rolando? 
and you can repeat, guys. You you al dos por uno la nevería. You can repeat. Don't worry. Because some people mm -mm, don't like to participate. So I need one. Who can work with Rolando? Gabriela. Okay, thank you. You start, Gabriela. Oh, look, there's a tal talent contest. On Saturday, let's enter. I can't enter talent contest. What, what can I do? You can't sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can't do? Oh, no, I can't sing at all, but I can't play the piano. So, maybe we can enter con the contest? Sure, why not? Okay, okay. let's practice tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Perfect, thank you. Let's practice tomorrow. No more. Okay, so yesterday we started talking about abilities. Do you remember? Y ahí es donde fue, alguien mencionó que era bueno para comer pupusas. I remember. So what are your abilities or talents? I remember that someone can play basketball. Some... Oh? oh, sleep. Era bueno para dormir, dijo alguien. Uh -huh. um. Victor, ahí nadie le gana. Uh -huh. So, in this case, we are, and, and this is very easy. Can uh, let me show you. This is what we are going to practice. Can we are talking about abilities? There you have. Oops, what happened here? Hmm. We have the attendance, the attendance. Um can can't can can't can can't ability. Okay. Um for example, you can say I can drive, I can play the guitar, I can play soccer, I can cook. I can paint, I can swim, what else? Okay, those are abilities, okay, skills, and we use can or can't, poder, no poder. Affirmative examples. I can, you can, he can, she can, it can, we can, you can, they can. Oops, okay. This is affirmative. Yo puedo, tú puedes, él puede, ella puede, él o eso puede. El it, ¿verdad? Que puede sustituir, es algo, puede ser mi gato. My dog, for example, my dog can do tricks. Sí, da la patita. Mm -hmm. My dog mm -hmm. or my cat can run very fast. Mm -hmm. We can, nosotros podemos. You can, ustedes. You can speak English. They can. They can speak French, okay? 
Now, affirmative sentences. Parrots can talk. Los loros pueden hablar. Yes, we can. Kangaroos can jump. Kangaroos can jump. Humans can jump too. Cheetahs can run very fast. Some people can run very fast too. Dolphins can swim. Many people can swim too. Okay, we're going to stop with these affirmative sentences. Now, um, what can you do? Let's repeat again. What can you do? ¿Qué, qué pueden hacer? What can you do? Ok, pero mientras lo piensan, voy a pasar la asistencia antes que se me olvide. Martes. Casi terminamos. Dos clases más. Ok, Alison, Rachel, Celis, Ortiz. Presente. Thank you. Carlos Andrés Pacheco Calderón. Thank you. Cristian Alexander Pérez Portillo. Present. Thank you. Gabriela Alejandra González Cuellar. Present. Thank you very much. Jesús Antonio Artiaga Benítez. Present, teacher. Thank you. José Alexander Pacas Álvarez. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Carla Elizabeth Hernández Peña. Present teacher. Thank you. Kenia Briseida Torres Martínez. Present teacher. Thank you. Kimberly Janina Guillón López. Present. Thank you. Lindsay Indira Lobo Díaz. Present. Thank you. Maria Ana de Jesus Gonzalez. She's not here. Ella es muy activa, no, no sé, se conectó hoy. Okay. Maria Stephanie Orellana Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. Nancy Edith Cruz Mejia. Present. Thank you. Rolando Daniel Urrutia Salazar. Present. Thank you. Tania Stephanie Rivera Landa Verde. Something happened. Verónica Magali Martinez Martinez. Something happened with these girls. Victor Manuel Guardado Torres. I am here, coach. Thank you. And Vilma Rubenia Campos Martinez. Perfect. Thank you very much. And that's it. ¿Qué pasará con las niñas Tania y Verónica? Okay. 
Okay, so what can you do? I can sleep all day. <laughs> okay. Sin tanto esfuerzo. It's so exhausting. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. More abilities. I found distraction with easy. <laughs> you can get you can get distracted easily. Yes. <laughs> and that's a problem. You can get distracted easily. Uh -huh. What else? Abilities. Abilities. I can play skateboarding, skateboarding. Okay, I can skateboard. I can, or I can skate. I can skate. Mm -hmm. I can skate. Uh, thank you. More? More abilities. Who, who, who can ride bikes? More abilities. I read with many colors. <laughs> I'm sorry, can you repeat? I read with many colors. You can read. Right. Uh, right. Yes. Okay. I can, I can see in any colors. You can... It's negative or affirmative? I don't get it. You can see with many colors. Yo escribo con muchos colores. Oh, great. <laughs> okay, me, me habían perdido, guys. Okay. <laughs> so, okay. Okay. Okay, <laughs> I get it. So, Kenya can write with many colors okay no but that's a very good strategy i used to do it yo solía hacerlo long time ago Woo! long time ago i um, solía usar muchos colores para escribir yeah that's a good a very good technique mm -hmm. okay what else some more abilities rolando ah uh, porque a veces dice no sé, dice una palabra como guys o algo así, no sé. Guys, no sé, sí. Es chico, creo. Guys. Ah, guys. Chico. Guys. Chico. Guys. Sí, chico. eso. ¿Qué significa? Eh, mucha. En español. Ah. Lo siento. Es como decir, sí, ¿quién lo dijo? Chicos. Cuando digo guys, eh, porque se involucran... Eh, hombres, mujeres, niños, niñas, right? Guys. No puedo decir boys, o men, o women. Está, se van a pelear con la cuestión de esto de género, ¿no? Entonces, guys, eh, me refiero a todos ustedes, guys. Uh -huh. Guys. Yeah, sí, es muy, muchacho. I don't know what do you think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, eh, este se escribe G U Y S G U Y S guys. Teacher, I can't stop translating. You called me a 
no sé cómo se diría, truco para dejar de traducir. Ok, uh, that's a good question, pero no es un problema. Eso no es un problema. El, y un truco sería para, digamos, minimizarlo. Porque en, así como vamos, o en los niveles básicos, siempre sucede a todos. Es el cerebro que lo hace. Aunque tengamos la intención de no hacerlo, siempre lo vamos a hacer. Y, entonces lo que tenemos que hacer es acostumbrar al cerebro. ¿Y cómo? Eh, pensar... Durante el día nosotros tenemos, ¿cómo se le llama? El self-talk. Él habla con nosotros mismos. Andamos pensando cosas. Andamos en el bus caminando y vamos pensando algo. Hacerlo, comenzar a hacerlo en inglés. Por lo menos, ¿cómo diría esto en inglés? O con el vocabulario, van en el micro. ¿Cómo diría semáforo? Eh, pasarela eh, para ir a, acostumbrando al cerebro entonces ese self talk no es, es, esta plática que tenemos con nosotros mismos irla tratando de hacer en inglés pensar las cosas en inglés y así es como se va a ir acostumbrando o educando el cerebro Pero igual, como repito, a este nivel es el proceso natural. Llegará un punto donde, ajá, Rolando, eh, que uno ya deja de, 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 de pensarlo, de traducirlo o pensar en español. De hecho, lo que ya vuelve, lo que pasa es que se te olvidan las palabras en español. Se te vienen más rápido las del inglés, como se dice eso en español, y me acaba de pasar, creo. Eh, es, es costumbre uh Sí, porque cuando me empiezan a hablar en inglés, escucho las primeras cinco palabras, y en lo que mi mente traduce esas cinco palabras, ya van por la digésima. -huh. <risa> But it's normal, don't worry. Um, y algo igual, ¿no? Ya para decirles esto, ¿no? La práctica, porque... A, a mis estudiantes también yo les digo a mí me gustaba ver a The Big Bang Theory no sé si la conocen la oh yes, visto, yes it's cool pero es, es tan gracioso cuando Sheldon se enorgullece de haber sacado un curso de natación pero en línea ¿Cómo? Un curso de natación en línea y, y, le, y, y, y dice, él se enorgullece, pero si tú no puedes nadar, le dice, claro que puedo nadar, cursé, tomé un curso y todos le hacen la broma, ¿no? Sí, pero en línea. Eh, ¿y, ¿Y cómo? O sea, igual el inglés, el inglés necesitamos la práctica. Oír y ver, mmm, no. Necesitamos mucho de la práctica. Y la práctica de, de, de palabritas, frases, lo que sea, como sea. Pero igual tenemos que acostumbrar hasta las cuerdas acá. Que vayan a, a aprendiendo a emitir los sonidos. Porque hay otra cosa que también yo bromeo con mis estudiantes. Que, y, y hay memes que dicen, wow. El inglés de mi cabeza es genial, pero cuando ya lo quiero reproducir con mi boca, es una salenda. Con el chems, chems musculoso y chems con ansiedad. <laughs> ok, guys, so we need practice, ok? Um, we're going to stop here and I will see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Any question you can text, ok? No question, teacher. Okay, thank you Good very night. much. Good night, everyone. Good night, teacher. Good night, everyone. See you tomorrow. Okay. Feliz noche.
Good night, everyone.